What's up guys, this is the Random Man, and I'm going to be unboxing the Alan Wake Collector's Edition. Yeah, I know I am extremely late with unboxing this. Uh, about like two years, like a couple days from two years. Can you get out? A <laughs> couple days from two years. Yeah. So, this is it. Alan Wake Collector's Edition. On the back, pretty much the back of the regular game. Which I had. I mean, I love this game. I love this game so much. I just had to get this because it was just my second favorite game. Though it probably doesn't mean much to anybody but for me. So, yeah. So, in the front, it's a uh, wig and a fake signature, but it's still pretty neat. Uh, yeah. So, it's got like a fabric feel on it. And you can feel the letters are different. And then, yep. And Alan Wake. And it's like magnetized. It slaps down there. Alright, so first can open is you come to the Alan Wake Files. A book by uh the guy Clay Stewart from the beginning of the game. No one really knew much about him, but uh yeah, he was in the dream and got a axe to the neck, so we don't really know much about him. So he writes a book called the Alan Wake Files of like interviews of different characters and it also has I'm not reading that right now it also has um Nightingale's field notes from where he was uh, staying at the Majestic Hotel and I guess Clay was too and found his notes in an air vent there so yeah that's, that's it it's a pretty interesting read actually I mean I've started to read it haven't gotten that far but it's pretty good it's pretty interesting so far and so we have the Alan Wake game no Xbox logo thing up there just complete blank besides all that stuff right there in the corners in the back just nothing but t rating in the front the disc manual and my already used the uh, free DLC code. So that's that. And also we have the bonus disc and soundtrack. I think this is pretty neat. And it's got a background. I'll show you those. So this is the bonus disc. It's got uh, trailers. Uh, inner uh, trailers making of the game. Uh, Character stuff, screenshots, a lot of a lot of things, and some, uh, some two two Xbox 360 dashboards of Alan Wake, and a gamer picture, good gamer pack, gamer picture pack. God, I'm terrible at this. And uh, Avatar Alan Wake scarf and shirt from when he looked all funny, and the soundtrack. Uh, whoops. Uh, you play it on the Xbox or some, or some audio CD player. It's only got ten songs. I mean, it, it, this part's okay. Uh, yeah, it's okay. And there's the picture. It's, it's pretty neat, though. I mean, I only got it for thirty bucks. So I got it used, so some of it's in pretty bad condition, but it's it's pretty good. Yep, I'm gonna put that all back here really quick. And, um, a while ago, I also got this. I also got a collector's edition. Of yeah, I got, I got I got the special edition of the survival survival guide. Yeah, it's still in good condition. Um. Shows you where all the coffee thermoses pages. Um, cans and the boxes are with all the light stuff in it. So, got that. And this thing, uh, called Alan Wake Illuminated. This is pretty good. I just read it a couple days ago. Talks about, um, how Remedy got started. They had a pretty successful start, by the way. That's Sam Lake, the creator of Remedy and Alan Wake and all that. They came up with these games called Death Rally, which was pretty good back then. 
and the Max Payne games. I never really played those, but I should sometime. And yeah, it just says, um, just has some of their ideas on Alan Wake, what they were planning on using and stuff, and cast. Yeah, so there's some character. They did a pretty good job of lookalikes, unless they based the characters' faces off these people first. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. This is also in the bonus disc, just the real life faces and game faces. And then the end, it has unused material, uh, some missions or things that we're going to think of putting in there. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool, too. So, yeah, I'd recommend getting these two things if you're a pretty big Alan Wake fan, like me. Alright, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, see what I can do next for my videos. So, yeah, alright, thanks for watching, bye.